Hello guys, in the last video, we I received a few requests to make a part 2. So, uh, I'm back here in the game, and in this video, we are going to make it so that we can obtain wood from this tree and collect gunpowder in order to make a gun. Thank you all for the support and the likes in the last video. So now, let's create a variable that's gonna keep track of our wood. So, our variable name is gonna be wood. Let's keep that. We don't need it to be a cloud variable. And we can put it here. I'll just keep it like this, maybe over here. You can do keep it anywhere you want. Uh, so now I will make a few costumes so that it looks like the tree is being cut. So I'll take the eraser tool and maybe we can duplicate this costume to make more costumes of the same sort. And I'll just take some of the tree out and kind of make it uh, equal. So that will be the first one. And the second one. And the last one will be like this. After this, we should have three pieces of wood. Let's first set it so that when the green flag is clicked, the costume is the same as it is now. So, let's set wood to zero and also set the costume to tree one. So, it will always look like this in the beginning. Later, we can mine this tree down or cut the tree now uh so when the cross chair is on the tree and we click the tree is gonna lose uh some wood so let's make this go to the front click this and now the cross chair will already always be in the front so Whenever we click, whenever uh, the we click on the stage, when stage clicked, it's gonna send a broadcast, which is gonna be wood cut, and it's gonna send it over here. I mean, to the cross chair, and when we receive wood cut. It's gonna check if the cross chair is, is touching the tree. So touching sprite tree, because that's our tree. If it's touching it, then we must cut it. So then we can broadcast wood cut, cut wood. And when it receives cut wood, it should change the costume to the next costume. Because it's in order right now. But however, if we're at costume 4, then we shouldn't go back to costume 1. So, if it's not... If the costume is not costume 4, then it's gonna change costume. So if not uh, costume number, so costume number is 4, then it's gonna change costume. When it does that, we should have cut the tree. So we need to change wood by 1. 
change wood by one. We don't need variable my variable, so we can uh, delete that. And now we every time we click on the tree, it changes. Yep, and more tree. It doesn't really. We can't really reach now, so we'll make it so that the tr so we have to make sure that the tree is in reach whenever we're trying to click it. So let's bring back a little part of the tree. So instead of this, we can duplicate this and make sure so that it's not too cut. So that we can always click on it. Yes. Now we have three pieces of wood. But now we need to put gunpowder. I'm just gonna leave some gunpowder on the floor. So that it's not too hard to pick it up. So, uh, I'm just gonna be making a triangle. A grey triangle. But you can keep it any color you want. A gray triangle. I'll just drag it here. And put a few f spots. And <coughs> you can put a when clicked and go to this place. And we don't really need to program all of this again. We can just duplicate. No, we don't even need to duplicate it. We can just get this and put it in the sprite 4. And we have it in the sprite 4. So now, if we join, there's gunpowder and tree. The tree has changed its position. Let's just get it back. And yeah, we have both the gunpowder and the tree. So now we'll have to make it so that we can pick the gunpowder up. So let's uh, change this. Yeah, we need to now do the same thing again. So one stage get broadcast wood cut and gunpowder. Okay, so when this receives let's just duplicate this and when this receives gunpowder and it's touching sprite 4 it gun it broadcasts gunpowder so here when we receive this that time we need to make it disappear so Whenever we click, as soon as we click this, we should be able to get the gun. So, we're just gonna be doing, uh, yeah, as soon as we click, yeah, so when we click it, it should hide, and we're gonna keep the, uh, a variable called gunpowder picked and set this to true and it's gonna hide and when we do this in the starting it's gonna be gunpowder picked to false and we're gonna keep this to show so now when we join the game we click again click again and click again and we have three pieces of wood we pick up the gunpowder and we gunpowder picked becomes true so Next video, we're gonna actually make the gun and make it function. So, uh, if you want to make part three, then 
please like and subscribe as that's going to give me the motivation to do it. Anyways guys, see you next time. Thanks for watching.